Hey, it wasn't a good day, everybody. After recapping Team Sweden on the women's circuit and having a good tournament before losing to Canada, we get to recap Team Sweden on the men's circuit having a very solid tournament this far heading into the quarterfinal, where in the quarterfinals, uh, their game is going to be against Canada. Uh, that is, of course, who I just said the women's fall to. Because can the men's Swedes have a different result? We will have to wait and see. That is Wednesday the 16th at 21.30. Um, let's get into Sweden's overall tournament. Uh, Sweden started off the tournament in a tough game. A Lafia battle. Lafia was like the, for my NHL fans, Seattle Kraken of the tournament. That was not a good team to be able to get wins, but was a scrappy team that played competitive even in losing affairs. Um, so they won that game 3-2. to two. Johansson played fine, and Epp, uh played very well. Um, Lucas Walmark uh, is having a fantastic tournament for Sweden. He, of course, was able to get a goal, and then Lander was able to get one of the other goals in that game. Walmark is definitely the star of the tournament. Uh, for Sweden, and then against Slovakia, they were able to win 4-1 to one against a Slovakian team that looks very solid themselves in this tournament, um, where uh, Fried, uh, Friedberg played good in net, Lucas Walmark again had a goal, um, in this game, what else is new, Joachim Nordstrom had a goal, which was a very nice crashing the net goal, uh, Nemec uh, had a bad penalty in this game, uh, so there was different things, Rybor played good in net, Helberg played amazing, Helberg, honestly, Looks like a very solid, technically sound goaltender that uh, sometimes looks like he's not even given the full-fledged effort just because he's huge and takes up so much space, but he is, and he's very good in collective and net. Uh, he's a guy I wouldn't be surprised if he gets some recognition, at least for AHL uh, level, um, coming over and trying to prove himself to then get maybe up and live his dream of being in the NHL. Um, I, I, he definitely has stood out to me in the tournament, at least. That, that, that's for sure. Um, and then when we go into the next game, Sweden barely lost to Finland. Helberg played a hell of a game. Um, that one goal was weird and fluky, their second goal. The third goal um, ended up being a very nice goal. And then the fourth goal, the overtime goal, was just a snipe. Uh, th that was just bad defensive play, a defensive collapse by Sweden in the third period there. Overall, I would give them a B- minus because of that collapse in the overall tournament. Because like I said, for the Sweden women's team, they lost their first two, won their next two. If you do better after, if you show perseverance and struggle early and do better late, I'm going to give you a better grade. If you do good early and then have a very bad struggle bunny moment late, like they did where they collapsed in the third period there, I'm going to give you a worse grade. So I would say they're going to get the B minus. They don't deserve to get as high of a grade as the women's team because I think they honestly play better. And now we're going to get to see if after this they get a higher grade because the women's team fell to Team Canada after what I thought was a better overall play beforehand because they didn't blow a game like this, uh, which is really what's going to drop the game when you are playing really good and then just blow it in the third period. That's going to drop your grade, I should say. Um, so Sweden, I would say, it has a B- minus this far. They're playing a good overall tournament. Um, as I said, but falling to Finland when you should have had that game, you blew it late. Finland's obviously a great team. They came back. They deserve to win the group. But <clears throat> you had the lead. You had that game in the wheelhouse, and then you blew it. Uh, they did beat Slovakia, though, who's a very good scrappy team. And they beat Lafayette, who's like, for my again, my NHL fans, the Kraken equivalent, who's just a good scrappy team. But they, they just can't get into the win column because they're just not at that level. But they can compete with teams and kind of piss them off, just as they did uh, with Sweden in this game, in that game, excuse me, where it took them everything to be able to beat Lafayette. They played a good game against Slovakia. They blew it in the third, which lowers a grade to a B-. minus. If you want to check out all the other videos in the Men's Olympics, it'll be linked at the bottom, plus the Women's Olympic players will be linked at the bottom, where you can check out the reaction to Team Sweden on the Women's Circuits play, where they unfortunately fell to Team Canada, but that was kind of expected overall. Hell of a tournament for them. Heck of a tournament for the men this far. Graded a little bit lower than the women this far, just because of the struggle bunny awful third period. I blew the game against Finland. But obviously, they'll be graded higher if they can do what the woman did not do, which is beat Team Canada. So everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. Please can subscribe above or down below on the easy-to-use widget to help get to 200 by the end of February. Peace out, everybody.